Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we will be modeling this ice cube tray simple model and uh, we'll be utilizing some of the draft tools so yeah and some rectangular pattern to do this uh, dip for the cube all right so let's quickly start with the part design i'll close this for now i can start with the new document go to part press ok you can name the part as ice cube tray press ok to confirm now we'll do some basic sketch for the body of uh, tray and to do that i will start with the xy plane go to sketch okay and here i will start with a center rectangle then I start from the origin give it some dia so let's say 101.6 304.8 all right so that makes our sketch fully constrained so i'll exit the sketch and go for a pad and here i will define the pad as 50.8 can preview it mm, right you can go for any direction let's say I'm happy with that I'll press ok to confirm now after that you must have seen that uh, the tray is has some draft angle on the sides and to do that what we can do is we can go for draft angle over here and uh, let's say we'll change the angle to 6 degree and select all the side faces all right and for the neutral element i will select the back portion mm, yeah if you preview it it's okay i have got a nice draft for the tray and after that what we can do is we can go for another sketch and to do that i will utilize the front face of this one go to sketch and we'll basically do a let's say let's go for a rectangle and draw a rectangle like this next go for dimension for this one distance from here dimension for this one distance from here okay this could be 41.91 30.48 also this could be 7.62 10.16 right after that we can exit this sketch and go for a pocket right <clears throat> for the pocket I will define the depth as 33.02 let's preview it I think that's fine I'll press ok to confirm that's the pocket that we wanted now there is obviously a draft angle inside the pocket as well and to do that we'll go for draft angle again select all the side faces of the pocket that we just created and for the neutral element i'll select the base okay we can go for let's say five degree and change the direction and press ok now we have a nice draft so that when the ice uh, when we have the solid ice inside it it could be easily taken out right that's why we did a draft over here okay from there we can also go for let's say fillet 2.54 mm radii and i can go for one two three and four faces Press OK to confirm. We have 
one of the slot for the eyes now all we have to do is pattern this on our overall body of the trains and to do that I will select uh, edge fillet and go for a rectangular pattern okay we'll go for uh, instances and length so we'll increase the instances to maybe 7 for the length I will type in 264.16 for the reference element I can take one of the edges reverse for the object to pattern I will select edge fillet for the object to pattern make sure you are selecting draft to select pocket okay let's cancel this we'll do one thing we'll select pocket draft and edge fillet and then start the rectangular pattern we'll change it to instances and length instances 7 and length 264.16 can give it this as the reference element can preview it okay we can go for second direction and for that I will use only two instances with instances and length and the length should be 55.88 for the reference element I can select this edge press ok to confirm Alright, so we have the body of our tray ready. Now after that, what we can do is we can go for a shell command. Okay, and to do that, I will start the shell. Uh, let's keep the inside thickness somewhere around here, 1.778. To remove the faces, I'll select all these faces and this one as well I'll press OK to confirm so we have a nice thickness of 1.55778 that we just uh, declared in the shell command after that we can also go for let's say fill it and we can what else we can do for so let's go for another fillet this time change it to 10.16 and I will select all these four corners I'll zoom in and select it very carefully Three and four. I'll press OK to confirm, and we have a nice round corner for the tray. Right after that, we'll do some sketch. Now, if you are happy with this one, you can stop the modeling here. But I will do a slot on this face so that uh, it's we can uh, tack it on one one. We can like place it one on top of the other like that. Okay, and to do that. I will select the YZ or let's say ZX plane. Go to sketch and uh, let's say I will project this one first. All right, and make it into construction. Now I will take our profile. 
I will do a profile like this. Okay, and then I will utilize the corner between these two. Let's say 2.54, another corner between these two, 2.54. All right, I will do some dimensions. So let's say this one. 1.778 and this one is coincident that one also we can go for this one as 1.778 and uh, from here to here Maybe 6.35 and from here to here. So what we can do is go from here to here 6.35. Okay, once your sketch is green. We can I think one thing is missing over here that is this line should be parallel to that one. So I will delete this vertical constraint and then select this one and this one and make it parallel. That way it's more perfect now and uh, what else can we do mm. okay i'll delete this one and instead of that i will say from here to here the distance is 6.35 okay now our sketch is perfect i can exit a sketch and I will do one more sketch and to do that I'll select this face go for a sketch now for this one all I will do is I'll just select it like this and uh, we can make go for projection and once you have projected everything you can delete the unwanted so I'll delete all these unwanted projection I'll repeat let's say I can select and delete like that also window selection and then delete the rest of the projection you can simply select and then press the delete key to get rid of that All right, from here I can exit the sketch. And what I will do is I will utilize the rip command over here. So for the rip definition, I will select sketch three as the profile and sketch four as the center curve. I can preview it. And yeah, that's what we wanted. That gives us a nice uh, grip for the tray also and it looks more accurate as well so from here we can also go for material and let's say 
can go for something like this. Close. Now if I throw some lights on, it looks like this, which is perfect. Alright, so that's how you can quickly model a uh, ice cube tray inside Katia V5. I hope you guys like it and in case if you have any doubts with this one, feel free to comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're watching. Peace out.